We're having Maccas for dinner, guys. Delicious. Because I'm really struggling, just mentally. This is about the sleeping, the snoring. Anxiety brain, doesn't let me sleep. Hello, I'm home. This is unreal. I also booked Bali. Do I not going to believe it? My flight has been canceled. Welcome to the weekly vlog. I just woke up. It's cold. We are well and truly into winter. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you for coming back. But if you are new here, hello, my name is Adele. I vlog every week, every day of my life, and I hope you stick around to the end. And I hope you become part of the YouTube family. Please subscribe if you haven't. It is Friday. We have to go to the doctor to get a blood test and to pee in a cup to check that I don't have an STD because the guy that I was dating was also sleeping with somebody else the entire time. Anyway, better to be safe than sorry. I don't have any symptoms, so I'm assuming there's going to be nothing wrong, but I'm not going to be able to sleep peacefully until I know. We're going to get ready and I believe that I'm going to wash my bed sheets. So let's get into that. This activewear set on, finishing my coffee. I have very heavy deadlifts, so I'm kind of tempted to eat a muesli bar or something, so I have energy. I think that's a good idea. The laundromat stuff is still there, and I haven't gone to the doctors yet. I'm going to do it all on my way home because probably not a good idea to draw blood and then go and deadlift 100 kilos. <laughs> so I'm just going to eat this. Muesli bars are so dry. I'm so excited for this workout. I will see you guys when I'm done. I'm gonna leave the camera in here. Workout done, doctor's done. I do need to go back tomorrow because you have to take them the first morning wee. Sorry, I know it's TMI, I know, but better that we check and just have peace of mind. And yeah, I'm gonna tuck those in the wash now and then we're gonna go home and eat. Onwards and upwards. I cannot wait for therapy on Monday. My efficiency is failing today because I walk in there and the worker from the laundromat is like, we have no water and water is going to be out for the next hour. So I'm better off just washing them at home and coming back and using the dryer here. It's okay. I'm having three and a half wheat bix. How many do you guys have? Do you remember that commercial? It was like, how many do you have? I'm actually so hungry after that workout. I inhaled that. <laughs> and that was a good amount of wheat bix and a good amount of sugar. My sheets are in the wash. I have to do two loads here, that's why I prefer the laundromat. But anyway, it'll get done. And then I'm gonna jump in right now and start editing the final version of the vlog, which will go live on Sunday, and my podcast episode, which will go live on Sunday. And then I'm gonna start planning next week's episodes so that I'm not rushed on Monday. The vlog is up and ready to go. I'm a tiny bit nervous, but I feel like I give you guys some really good context and yeah, hoping that by this point, he's not even a thought or a word that we ever speak again. I'm also just going through all the stock levels of our jewelry collection and I am blown away. We actually don't have that much left. And I said to Jazz, I'm gonna actually go back to the Gold Coast when all of the pre-order stuff arrives to pack those orders. But I want to do something for like one month of the launch, like something special for you guys. Because we only have like six of the fake silver earrings left, nine of the power hoops left, 25 of the gold ear cuffs, 13 of the silver ear cuffs. Like there's minimal stuff of everything and then it's gone forever. And so I obviously want to completely sell it out for Jazz, but I also want you guys to get your hands on it if you haven't. So I know some of them say pre-sale that should arrive in about three weeks. I'll go back to the Gold Coast and I'll be packing those orders as well. And by the time this vlog goes live, the one month of the launch would be gone because it's the 26th of June, but keep an eye out because there might be a way for you to get something extra as well as like doing an order and supporting me. Because yeah, we obviously, I want to I make sure that I sell it properly. And I've said to Jazz, I'd never want to put it on sale or do anything like that with it because I want the collection to hold its value. It's a once off and yeah, I want to keep it that way. But I can't believe we've sold so much already. It's incredible. I love you guys. and find that chocolate the one that has the passion fruit in it because I would love to do a review tonight and hopefully they've got it they have it yay 
I'm gonna buy it. I'm having last night's dinner for my leftovers today, adding some chili flakes. I almost ordered Uber Eats and then I saw this in the fridge. It's just salmon pasta. And then I'm gonna pop in some parmesan as well. Oh. I like it cheesy, so that can stay there. I know this is bad too, but we have a bag of straws in our pantry. And so I do use them. I do care for the environment, but I don't like paper straws. And we already bought them. They're so old, these straws. They're like from Ikea five years ago. So I will use them. Getting canceled for having a plastic straw. <laughs> oh my God, I'm hungry. I've been to the laundromat. I'm currently on hold to my bank because I need to ask them something. And I'm gonna make the bed and hope that they don't answer while I'm making the bed because I'm three in the queue. I reckon I can do it. I failed. They called me or they answered the call when I had just put the fitted sheet on. <laughs> anyway, she solved my query within a couple of minutes. I've had a lot of admin stuff to do. I need to book my car in for a service. I have to call the bank. I need to sort out a SIM card for Europe. I don't know what to do. I don't know if I get one from SIM Corner or if I turn on my like international roaming with Vodafone for $5 a day. If you've traveled to Europe recently or like, what have you done? Like, <laughs> can you help me out? Cause I don't know what to do. I can't wait to sleep in fresh sheets. I did wash my hair yesterday, but I'm kind of tempted to wash it again. I don't even remember the last time that I washed my bed sheets, but fresh sheets for me. Can't wait to go to bed. I think I wrapped up work for the weekend. Yes, we're having Maccas for dinner, guys. <laughs> Thank you for going to get this set. Yum. Sprite. Nuggets. Delicious. Showered. Skincare. Fresh bed sheets. Yes. I'm so excited to sleep tonight. I was just doing some stuff on the computer and I don't know why, but I didn't check today's date at all until just now. And it's the 23rd of June. Do you know what that means? It's been one year since Darling Papa passed away. I didn't realize until now. We are going to the church on Sunday, so we are still doing something, celebrating his life, but I can't believe it's been a year. What the hell? Where has time gone? <sighs> anyway, it's time for bed. I am feeling rather exhausted, and I think it's because this week has been quite emotional, and I'm handling everything just fine, but yeah, it's been a bit of a emotional whiplash up and down fucking all over the shop and I just need to come back to like baseline. I'm hanging for my therapy appointment on Monday like <laughs> I desperately need it and so yeah <laughs> we just need to hang tight. I also have to go to bed right now because we have the wood getting delivered tomorrow and I'll be putting it away and I want to try and wake up before it comes so I can go to the gym otherwise I'll be too sore afterwards. <laughs> anyway good night from me I'll see you in the morning. Morning. I didn't make it to the gym, but I do need to wee in my little cup <laughs> and take it to the doctor first thing. So let's do that and let's help with the wood. Let's wake Franklin up. Good morning. Hi. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Hi, cutie. Nice stretch. Come on. Okay, I'm feeling better. I also am feeling incredibly anxious, like the knots in my stomach. Yeah, I'm just trying to breathe. Hi, little darling. Come here. Love you. I know that after I do the wood, I'll feel better because it's like the equivalent of like a workout. <laughs> Get some endorphins. All right. Let's go. Work boots going on. Because if you've ever dropped wood on your toes, it fucking hurts. <laughs> How much wood did we get? Two ton. Okay. All right. Let's get to work. done in here is like all the little bits that ooh, oh no I just fucking broke that let me turn it around 
Sorry, Mum. She's going to watch my vlog and see. They're the bits that you start the fire with. These are all stuff that can go in. And then here are like the little odd shaped ones that don't go in the stack. We use the bags from Bunnings that I got the other day. Now it's time to eat. Doing not bad for time. That's where we're at at the moment. The usual. I might go for a walk after this. I'm doing a last edit of tomorrow's podcast and then I am going to go for a walk because I need to just move. I'm not going to go to the gym today. I'll go tomorrow morning. I'm cold just sitting in my room so I just need to like bring in some like body heat. I've emptied that already but that's still clean in here. Thank you for washing my car. Oh, no, I needed it, Dad. That's so nice. Thank you, Dad. My lunch is half a baguette with turkey, pickles, cucumber, and cheese. Not bad. I wanted to get Uber Eats, but I'm not. <laughs> okay, the roll actually makes it. This is tasting a lot like a salad roll. Mm. My walk was really good, too. Very windy, but the sun was out, so grateful for that. Mm. just watched the recording of Nathan and I it's very insightful so I'm really stoked with it and it's a long one it's 45 minutes <laughs> I'm trying to get ahead because I've just had a urge and I'll tell you about it after we eat dinner we're having a soup hopefully mum feels better after this so good she just put all the veggies that we had in the fridge not to waste and made a soup out of them mm -hmm. thanks mum you're welcome honey put some parmesan on top Hi Frank. Not bothering us for the food tonight because it doesn't smell good, does it? It's veggies, you won't eat it. No, that's what I mean. He's only interested when it's chicken or oh, meat. Honey, you made this beautifully. Mm. Look at all our little sides tonight. What's going on? I'm practicing using, for a Europe. Just using what I had in the fridge. And what was left over, and we need to buy olives, <laughs> feta cheese. The mum's done the tomato with the oil and the salt and pepper on it, with the boccaccini on it. That's, that's mozzarella. mozzarella. Oh, mozzarella. Would it just be nice with a piece of um, basil on it? We don't have any basil. Mm -mm. I actually haven't looked at the veggie patch for a few days. Why don't we have basil for you in the back of the garden? Oh, it doesn't grow all year. Mm. I had an urge to like run away, like book a flight. Just go like to Bali or something for a few days because I'm really struggling just mentally. I know I just have to get to Monday. I'm very sensitive at the moment. I'm just eating M&M's, peanut M&M's. I want to articulate what I'm thinking but I'm stuck in this like hard spot because it's like I'm damned if I don't say something. I'm damned if I do say something and it's a very small portion of people who are thinking terrible things about me right now. And I love that some of you care and will like send me screenshots of what people are saying about me in like Facebook groups and shit like that. But I think I need to not read it while I'm already sad because it's really getting to me. And I know that I'm not a bad person. And it's just really hard, okay? I feel like when you put your life on the internet, which people like watching, I am still learning how to navigate things and I'm not like media trained. I'm a human having a human experience who yeah, I was disappointed in an outcome that didn't go to plan and I'm trying to navigate it as maturely as I can and I just really want it to blow over and I know it will but I've never really, like I'm not, a, I don't think I'm problematic, I don't think, like I've never been in like Facebook threads in other Facebook groups or talked about like this. I'm just trying to navigate this. I'm just in like mental and like physical pain like in my throat and like in my heart and yeah, I just... I just wanted to stop so I'm like let's just go, go to Bali <laughs> and run away but I know that's not gonna help so I just think that I need to get to Monday good morning I just showered I'm feeling a little bit better today I know that this will pass and I'm gonna try and move forward and yeah I just had a rough night I also think I just need to get to tomorrow and have therapy but I'm getting ready. I have to be ready in 20 minutes. We're going to the church today for my papal's one year. So I'll be back in 20 minutes, literally. I've woken up late. I haven't even gone to the gym. It's, I have 18 minutes, fuck. Look at this, guys. I managed to do it. No idea how. I'm just in all black. 
I'm not going to take the camera because I don't know how long I'll be or what we're doing after and I just don't think it's the right time to vlog. But I'll see you when I get home. There is the fit and they're all my clean clothes that I have to put away. We are back home now. It is midday. I haven't eaten anything so I think I need to have my wheat fix and I think I need to go to the gym just because I'm not okay up here. <laughs> and I need the endorphins. It's alright. In 24 hours I will have therapy. So we're nearly there. Ordered bagels for mum and dad. Open the bag. They've oh. baked some bagels. Left us a little note to say thank you. Oh no. What'd you get? Oh my god, they sent us extra things. <gasps> What's All right, that? So that in there. <laughs> the bagels. The bagels. I'm going to test these. I got some tiger bread. Oh, hold on. They gave you some rolls. It's tiger rolls. Biden. Yeah, because for lunch I might have one. And then we've got a packaging here of something done already. Let's open it. Let's have a look. It's a chocolate bagel. Oh no, brownies. Ah, uh, for King Jim and his queen. <gasps> oh, thank you. That's really sweet. I'm hungry. <laughs> Mum and Dad made bagels with the bakes and bagels. I'll show them my plate. Bagels, their plates are so messy, but <laughs> oh, I'm how up. good does that look? I hate going with makeup on, but it's the way the cookie crumbled today. <sighs> I think I'll feel better afterwards. We got this. The vlog went live. I have never been more nervous in my life, and. You guys were so fine. You were more than fine. I love you. Thank you. It was a harsh reminder that the people in my community understand me and have my back and the people that are going to be nasty and leave me terrible comments and talk shit about me aren't in my community. So I really shouldn't care what they say. Anyway, it's now time for dinner and I'm going to show you what we're having. I did order something off Uber Eats. Part one is some leftover soup from last night. Tastes better the next day. It tastes so much better today. And then part two is coming. <laughs> I don't know about part two. My part two is coming. Yeah, your part two. This is part three. <laughs> Hash browns, which we got today. We've been loving them in the air fryer. My Uber Eats is nearly here. <laughs> These are bird's eye. Mm. And then the last part, I got <laughs> Hungry Jacks. Because I saw... Sasha Tyre's mukbang on TikTok yesterday and it made me crave it but I got the bacon deluxe with just one patty. They gave me no patties. Oh! Oh! oh what are they, doing? they took out all the patties. That's so sad. Round two. I literally ordered it. Again. <gasps> this one feels better. Can you stuff it up? No, and it's actually hot as well. They must have felt bad. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's bedtime for us now. <sighs> I love you guys so much. I'm really grateful for your support. I want to cry like tears of happiness, but I'm trying not to cry on the camera. I'm okay. I just need to go to therapy tomorrow. And maybe to Bali. <laughs> Should we run away? Do you want to run away with mummy? Anyway, it's a new day tomorrow. A new week, a new Monday. I've got this. I'm going to plug you in as well because you're on zero battery. I have no idea how it's recording. <sighs> Say goodnight, Frank. Good morning. I didn't set an alarm and I woke up very, very late, but I obviously needed it. I'm not going to beat myself up about it because I barely slept last week between feeling so anxious and worried all week and then just worried about the vlog and all that stuff like I obviously fucking needed to sleep for 12 hours <laughs> I'm gonna go to the gym it's lower body day all right this is the set today my hair desperately needs a wash that's that but I'm gonna wash it tomorrow morning I think it's better we also need the best I need to actually buy a dress for the wedding. I just realized we leave soon and I need to sort that out because everything else I think I've got what I need because I can alternate already some of my older summer clothes. I'm talking about Europe, sorry, I just <laughs> jumped the gun. 
but I desperately need to find a nice summery wedding dress that I can wear in Greece. <sighs> All right, time to work out. Goodbye. I'll see you when I come back. I'm just going to the gym, okay? Stay warm. He doesn't even care. <laughs> I need to get something from the chemist. $10.50 for my toothpaste. <laughs> Dentist recommended me it, guys. I've been using it for honestly over a year or maybe more. It's the only toothpaste I'm allowed to use. <laughs> Yeah. I'm not over this yet. I've just been working on the podcast episodes for the last hour and a bit and I'm gonna jump into my therapy appointment. It's at one o'clock today so after that we can get some food for lunch. I don't know what I feel like eating but I will probably be hungry and I may probably cry in this therapy appointment but fuck I've been dying for it. <laughs> that was good. It's so nice having someone that just knows everything about you and just really can articulate things that maybe you can't or just validate you and I think I even had her speechless at one point. <laughs> She's like, you're an expert. I said, I know. <laughs> I'm too self-aware almost. She doesn't think Bali is a bad idea because she's like, you actually need a break and you've needed one for a little while. So just know that when you come back, you still have to deal with the emotions, but it could be good to actually just give you a time out from your routine and your structure. And if you schedule some time for reflection while you're there, that could be good. So I'm very much leaning towards it. <laughs> anyway, I probably just need even some just time to process things. Cause yeah, it's not like, oh, I can just get over it in a day, right? Like I'm a human, I have feelings, I have emotions. Even like spending time at the church yesterday, like that played a part in like some of the crying that I've done <laughs> this week. Yeah, just processing. Some things take time. Like you can be, you can do all the work, which I'm someone who always does the work all the time. But sometimes you just also need time. So, yeah. Anyway, I have a lot of work to do on these podcast episodes because if I do go to Bali, I will need to take next Tuesday off and not record. So I'm going to try and plan out and record four, three tomorrow. Hopefully I can do it. Don't be mad, guys. I did order Uber Eats just because convenience. I'm going to share this with mum. I'm going to have half each. Oh my god, it's huge. Why is it so big? Beautiful. Dad is home as well because he's going to do a snore test. Thank god. I wonder what they'll do to him. Also have a little delivery here. From JS Health, I did purchase this myself, guys, just so you know. But I got influenced. I was influenced by Jazz from Jazz Handmade. And so I bought the hair and energy capsules. Very curious to see if this works because I'm trying to grow my hair, as you would know. This is for mummy. You don't need to grow your hair. I love you. Kiss. Can I have a kiss? Thank you. And I'm going to see how it goes because Jazz posted a photo of her hair and her hair has grown quickly. Now, my hair does grow quite quick, but I'm going to get a haircut soon and I'm scared because I'm trying to grow it. So I'm going to try these. Jazz reckons I will see a difference in about a month. And then what else did they give me in here? Shampoo and conditioner. I didn't even know JS Health did that. Do you want this one? Just come home. Firstly, what's on your head? Oh, I cut it shaving. So okay. Some toilet paper. Uh, secondly, what's on your body? Okay, guys. This is about the sleeping, the snoring. Thank God he's doing something about it. Right, in here, it's alive. It's taken my heart from over here. Oh God. It's got one here and I've got one on my shoulder blade. This will open up later on tonight when we, all these come off and they'll go all over my face. Oh my God. Then I've got a finger one to put in my finger. Which finger did she say now? Doesn't oh my God. All good, there's a video I can watch. And then there's another one that goes into here. All right, so Mike, can I ask some questions? Yeah, you can, you can, you can, uh, yeah, go on. All right, 
So will me sleeping next to you, knocking you, and stopping you from breathing, or waking you up when you're You can't me? stop, you can't block my nose, you can nudge me. Okay, so... Sleep in Carla's room. I'm going to sleep in Carla's room tonight. All right? <laughs> Dad's offended. Don't get offended, I just think that they should... <laughs> I'm not laughing at you, I'm saying at least you're looking after it. Dinner time. Yum. Oh my god, that looks so good. Oh, I had yeah. a pumpkin tonight. Go mum. She's on fire tonight. That looks so good. But That's rosemary. rosemary from mm. the garden. I wouldn't eat this. Don't get anything on your contraption. No, I know. Should you wear a bib? I might. That is a bib. Oh. Living in the future, guys, I'm heating my bread up on the fireplace so I can butter it. <laughs> I turn around. Who said you could sit there? Franklin, get down. Yes, you can stay there. What are you doing? <laughs> this one? Yeah, I'm all wired up, relax. Good night. <laughs> good night. <laughs> the Ask Me Anything was good. I also did a little walk on the treddy here and I'm gonna jump in the shower now. I can't wait to wash my hair in the body. Also, I'm like on the fence about Bali. Should I do it? Shouldn't I? I'm gonna see if it's okay with Derek if I can take next Tuesday off because him and I made a promise to record every Tuesday and he said he's happy to let me have some off here and there. But yeah, we'll see if he lets me do it tomorrow and then I'll book it. My skin is really bad. I'm gonna do one of these. I think it's just stress. Wouldn't surprise me. Wait two minutes while we're waiting. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Onwards and upwards. Trash. All right, this is the other wipe. And you do the same thing, you repeat the steps. For bed. I did put Frank in his bed even though he dug a little hole in my pillow. I was like, buddy, you gotta stay in your own bed tonight. He can have cuddles towards the end of the vlog. I'll see you guys in the morning. Good morning. Oh my god, it's 6 30, it's pitch black. <laughs> That's better. I desperately have to wash his hair and start getting ready. I'm so tired. I went to bed at like 1 30. Definitely did not get a good night's sleep. Anxiety brain doesn't let me sleep. Mum's working. I have to leave in 10 minutes. We are here. Oh, yeah, awesome. see now I can see the orange in there. The aura. Can I, can I just show the camera that? <laughs> we had a party, Derek had a party. It's his birthday, everyone. So say happy birthday to Derek. Finished recording. I did three episodes. I hope they're okay because obviously I'm a tiny bit emotional. I still want to be objective. I still want to give good advice. And I think I did, but definitely feeling a bit cooked after that. I recorded two hours straight and just walking back to the train the sun's out it's not that cold i'm hot because i didn't shut up for two hours and i'm really hungry we haven't done the grocery shopping and i'm really annoyed because then that automatically means i'll get uber eats and i don't want to get uber eats i'm back i'm gonna go home and eat and log on for the meeting with em also i forgot to tell you guys this morning after i got off the train i got a call from my doctor test results all clear i had no symptoms but I was a little bit scared because I'm usually so careful about who I sleep with and being safe. I get tested before I sleep with anyone new. I get tested after I sleep with anyone new. I actually would get STD checked quite frequently prior to 
that big dry spell that I had, but just a reminder to be safe. If you're having casual sex, please get checked frequently. Please use protection. Please look after yourselves. Better to be safe than sorry. If anyone's needing to do an STD check, fucking go. It's not that bad. You just pee in the cup, get the blood test. Anyway, I think I can sleep tonight knowing that it's good and maybe that's why I couldn't sleep last night. Also, probably the Taylor Swift tickets. <laughs> that's playing on my mind too. Hello, I'm home. I missed you. I missed you. I love you so much. Why are you so cute? Logging on for my meeting with Em and I will see you guys after that. I need to order some food. The meeting went well. We're having issues with the supplier, so I think I have to find another one. Very frustrating. Anyway, I did order Uber Eats. I got Van Me. Just cut it. Oh, there's chili in it, Mum. That's alright. Just be careful. Look. <gasps> Yum. This is unreal. It's the same place I got it from last week. I'm just going to the shop. I'll be right back. Okay? Love ya. Don't look at me like that. I'm just in a tailor mood because I really hope I can get tickets tomorrow. <sighs> oh, all right. We're going to quickly run to the PO box and then we need to go to Coles because we haven't done the groceries and typical we're running to the shop every day to buy dinner. This is why you need to do the groceries. I'm annoyed that I didn't do them. I did buy freeze dried Skittles and they sent me freeze dried red clouds and curly wellies. These are so interesting. I do like them. Changes the whole like experience. So bizarre. I can't wrap my head around it. Okay, we have to run to Coles. I need to stop eating and doing this. Chicken for dinner. And then but some bread. We're gonna have the roasted potatoes. So some cream, coleslaw, a well these are not for the potatoes, but that octopus stuff that dad likes. And then two things. And then I also got sweet potatoes. I also have to be real with you guys. I had time to sit on this. I don't think I like it. Mum, you want to come try? Yeah, what is it? It's a freeze-dried Skittle. Oh. You might really like them because they're making, the thought of them is making me unwell now. Rubs at your tummy? Yeah. I like them. Oh, good. You can have them. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, my God, I'm going to try these. Try them. I like the texture. Uh, see, the texture's throwing me hard. And I'm a texture girl. Oh I love God, crunchy yeah. things. Let me try these ones. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Which one's your favourite? Come on. Between these two, they're, they're, that's third. Okay, maybe I need to try these. Oh my god, yum. We'll wait till dad gets home. <laughs> eat too many, you're gonna spoil your dinner. Does anyone else's mum do that? That's what she does to me when I have a sweet treat before dinner. <laughs> yeah, you have it literally five minutes before dinner. Not yeah, me. that's okay, it doesn't matter if it's five, five oh, minutes no. or half an hour. <laughs> Dinner is served. How good does that look? I am gonna go to the gym and just do a bit of a walk. Tuesdays I don't do weights because I have to wake up quite early to either wash my hair or get ready to leave the house by like 8, 8.30. Anyway, I will see you when I get home. It shouldn't be too long. Also, Em gave me a good idea saying I should go to Fiji instead of Bali. I've never been to Fiji, so that could be cool. All right, see you soon. I'm back. I also booked Bali, so I leave on Thursday. Just so we all know, psychologist approved this. She actually encouraged me. So yes, may have been a little bit of a moment, but she backs me. She thinks I need a break. I need a break. If I can do this, I'm going to do it for myself. <sighs> it's actually nice having something to look forward to in two days because Europe seems so far away, even though I know it's not, but my brain mentally just needs this. Anyway. We're gonna try the freeze-dried snacks with dad. I've just tried the freeze-dried stuff. 
What did you look in the camera? Don't look at yourself. Oh, in there. Oh, in the, in the camera, that one there. Yes. Yeah. Okay, yeah. yeah. That's what a nice you, lens. What did you think? Disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> disgusting. Absolutely disgusting. He's so funny. He doesn't, he actually gives no fucks. No, that was disgusting. <laughs> Sorry, that's why no one sends me anything because that was disgusting. It, no, Tim Tam sent you something and. Look, the burst of the fruit tingles. It was a skittle. Yeah, it was like fruit tingles at the start and then it just stuck into my teeth. It's stuck in my teeth now. Yeah, I got issues with my teeth. <laughs> and then. <laughs> red thing? What was that? A cloud? Yeah, I think I like the cloud. Cloud is blue, not red. Are they trying to confuse us now? That was that one. And then the chocolatey one? Curly Whirly. What's a curly whirly? It's fr freaking Willy Wonka. Is it Willy Wonka? I don't know. You know that that long. Go and watch Willy Wonka Factory. Right? I don't, I don't know if it's Willy Wonka. The original. <laughs> you wanna lick everything. That I don't wanna lick none of it or oh, any of it. Enough. Look what I also put up. My jazz handmade poster. Because I'm so proud of her. I know that's me. <laughs> it's probably a bit fucked. Ready for bed. Got these PJs on. I forgot that I had them. I need to rotate through my PJs a little bit better. I was also thinking the shower, like this trip can also signify celebrating myself for the end of my reno and celebrating myself for the jewelry collection. And I'm hoping it gives me a little bit of a mental reset so I can come back and tackle the journal situation because that's my next pain point and I need to sort it out. And I think five days downtime in Bali is going to go a long way for me and I'm so excited and so grateful and so happy that I'm doing this for myself and yeah it is a bigger reward I know some people might think that is a crazy ass reward I am fully aware of that but I really need it and I'm trying to give myself what I need a bit of eat pray love if you will anyway I did my visa I did my declaration I probably should pack tomorrow I'm not gonna be super fast to be honest I've got a 23 kilo limit but I'm probably even just gonna check in like the size above the carry-on so that I'm not taking too much. Probably won't wear makeup there. We'll keep it super casual. Might take some of my Euro fits too. Take my new bikinis. Maybe not those blue ones because they give me trauma. Nah. <laughs> too soon, too soon. Good night and I'll see you guys tomorrow. We have an exciting day tomorrow too. Morning. I just woke up. My sleep schedule is cooked. <laughs> I went to bed at like 1am again. I gotta stop this because then I can't wake up the next day. Anyway, we go to Bali tomorrow. <laughs> I'm so excited. And we are gonna go to the gym. So let's wake Franklin up and let's get our day started. After the gym, mum and I are gonna go to Chadston because I wanna see the Elite 11 campaign in store. Someone messaged me the other day and they were like, oh, your face is on the billboard in the store. I was like, I need to go see it. <laughs> Because what a pinch me moment. And then I'm going to try and get Taylor Swift tickets and do as, as much work as I can before I get into it because I want to try and chill as much as I can while I'm away. I'm at the gym. I'm doing a upper body workout today. I'm going to try and do another session tomorrow before I go to the airport. It's so cold. Like I haven't taken off the vest yet. But I think I'll have to because I'm trying to do my bench press. <laughs> Workout done, very hungry. Also, I just got given this in the gym. I'm, it's not for me to keep, but a guy in there was like, I know your vibe, I think you need to read this book, and gave me this book. And nine declarations to claim your personal power. It's like very sweet, like that's very thoughtful. And now I feel like I have to read it because it's been given to me. So maybe I take it to Bali. I was going to have a shower and get changed, but then I'm like, I should just stay in Elite 11 if I'm going to go to the Elite 11 store and look at myself in Elite 11. True. <laughs> we are at Chanston. Just found a park. Didn't take us that long. No, it was good. Mum's day off, so she's tagging along. We just need to go to Elite 11 and Mecca because I need a face wash. How cute it is, guys. I want to show you the whole thing. Yes. It came out so good. Epic, epic, epic. Did a quick little shop at Morphe and Mecca. I'll give you a haul when we get home. And now we will drive back. Okay, now I'm back in front of my computer and we are 
going to get Taylor Swift tickets in 16 minutes. I'm hungry, but I'm like, I can't eat because I'm so nervous. I'm scared, three minutes to go. I also have to have a shower because I've got a laser appointment at 3.20. Don't worry about the laser, Adele. Just worry about the tickets. Some people are still in the queue from the Sydney pre-sale. 2.30, I'm still waiting. Nothing's happened. I'm not going to give up. I'm just going to hang tight. I just filmed a quick haul. I'll show you what I picked up this morning. I'm laughing at the fact I had time to film a haul while I'm waiting for these fucking tickets, but picked up my beauty loop bonus. I have never heard of this brand, guys, ever. Anyway, I'll give it a go. See if it's worth the hype. I needed this. Skincare, got some face masks. This was meant to be the bum bum cream, but it's actually a hair treatment. So what I'm gonna do is put this into a giveaway that I'll run soon. Got a new lip liner, and then I bought the little sample-y size of some skincare so I can take that with me tomorrow. I'm panicked because I had to have a quick shower. Mind you, I haven't refreshed. My screen is still saying waiting, but I've got my fucking laser appointment and I have to go. I'm gonna be late anyway. So I'm gonna leave my computer and hope it's still on when I get back. I'll see you guys soon. I didn't get tickets, guys. I waited. The computer stayed put while I went to the laser. I had it on my phone too. Didn't get it. I sat here. I then refreshed the browser and then it sold out. Anyway, we're going to Maddie's house for dinner. I'm meeting her and Em there. Well, it's Maddie's house. So <laughs> we're going to Maddie's house. Em is leaving. I'm leaving mine now. And I'm going to take you along. We're going to have Uber Eats and have a little comfy girls night. And then I need to come home and pack. Because I haven't packed. I'm Look at what Maddie has set up for us. <laughs> We had no idea. Em and I just walked in here. Oh, we're like, <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be us today. So, so cute. We're and they're all do... like flower themed. Oh my god, I love this. Aww. Thank you so much. I this is like exactly what I needed. <laughs> Smells so yum. good. Yum, yum, yum. Yeah, it's coming up so cute. <laughs> they both are so cute. All of them are cute. I love how they're all flowers too. Yeah, it's just like so cute. cute. We can like keep these forever for the memes. Are we doing good? You're doing amazing. <laughs> Such a wholesome night. I know, it's it so much fun. Stunning. Okay, this is cute. We are making progress. They came out so good. <laughs> we are. Masterclass <laughs> artist. <laughs> <laughs> Like, honestly, surprised us both. We had no idea she had set up the paint and sip. And when I tell you how therapeutic that was, I just am so grateful because I don't think she realized how much I needed that. Like, I just wanted to cry when I walked in there because I was like, fuck, I need a night with my friends just to sh sit and do something mindful and just relax. And I didn't want to leave, but I had to come home and pack. And we did finish the paintings, obviously, but... It was like a 10 out of 10 beautiful night and I'm just so grateful to have friends like that. Also, um, my darling, I ordered a yoga set from her, which I'm contemplating going to the airport if I'm quite honest. It's all pink, it's so cute. And I literally ordered it today and then I was like, can you bring it tonight? And she brought it for me, so thank you, Em. I don't know if you'll watch this. Anyway, I've got my bag packed. I packed it in like an hour when I got home. It's midnight, I'm gonna go to bed. And in the morning, we will head to Bali. I'm so excited. Happy Thursday and happy last days of vlog. I'm kind of happy that today is going to be a travel day because, yeah, it'll be a nice start to next week's vlog. But I've just made the bed, had a shower, done my skincare. Going to grab a coffee and then we're going to get ready. I want to leave by 7.30. It's currently 6.30. Not doing makeup, so I feel like I'm going to be alright and on time. I didn't make it hot enough. Alright guys, I'm ready. I've got the yoga set on. It's super cute. I'm a bit nervous, but I think we'll be alright. I've traveled internationally solo before. First time using my new passport too, because I got her 27th of June. So, my other one expired in COVID. Anyway, 
We're going to quickly eat. I feel sick. I don't feel like eating, but I need to. And then I'm booking an Uber. We're not going to believe it. My flight has been cancelled. As I'm in the Uber getting to the airport, I get the email. And I'm on another flight now at 5.45. So I think I need to go home. Because what the fuck? I booked Virgin. They had never cancelled my flights. I should have just booked the Qantas flight. The reason I didn't book the Qantas flight is because I'll arrive now at like 11 p.m. in the dark, which I don't like to arrive in a new place if I'm traveling solo in the dark. Anyway, let's get the fuck out of this airport. Back home, I just put on some comfier clothes like because I'm going to have a nap. <laughs> Franklin is so confused. He was so excited to see me back with the suitcase. After I wake up, I'm going to chase up Virgin and see if I can get my money back for that flight because, yeah, I'm on a completely different flight and I had to pay to get on it it's later tonight. So yeah, not the vibe. Hi, baby. Let's have a nap together. I'm also like exhausted and that Uber drive back. So I sat in the Uber all the way to the airport. That Uber drive back was terrible. He was like falling asleep at the wheel and he was going in lanes and like breaking at the last minute. It wasn't nice, Franklin, I was scared. <sighs> I already get car sick, but then I was scared. I'm looking worse for wear, but I've just been on hold for the last hour and a half. They refunded everything for me, both flights, because Virgin just canceled the one today for no reason. And so I have rebooked the one today, this afternoon. I've got to book a different flight for when I come home. <laughs> we are going to Bali, guys. I'm not letting this deter me. I'm not taking it as a sign from the universe. I'm just taking it as a sign that I should have booked a better airline the first time. We're getting to Bali today. Don't you worry about that. two guys booking another uber the third one that i'll be in today we are back at the airport guys i have more faith about this flight not being cancelled because people are still going to be vlogging it's with Qantas so should i just put Qantas in the first place anyway the international airport scares me just a little bit bag dropped successfully and i also changed about $400 Australian into Rupia as well. In case any of you needed a reason why you need a two meter iPhone charger, I can still sit on the chair right here and reach that convenience. That's the time. I will board in about 45 minutes. I have a window seat and look, they gave me a pillow. I love Qantas. They also gave us a blanket. I don't know, like, can you keep that? I guess not. Maybe that you have to give it back. That's really cute. And then um, they also had headphones, but I just have my book. I'm gonna try and read until like it's bedtime, Melbourne time, if that makes sense. Also, how cool is this? The camera's right in front of my face, and you can still see everything. but I waited for an hour and a half in the passport line to get through and my driver has just gone to get the car to come and get grab me. Anyway, thank God I'm here. Look, the camera's fogging up. I'm here. <laughs> it's 1.30 Bali time, 3.30 Melbourne time. Anyway, they gave me this real flower chain. Very, very cute. I will give you a proper tour in the morning because it's very dark in here and this is as bright as my light gets. All right. Good night, I love you. Thank you for your support this week. I'm so glad I'm here. I'm so grateful I'm here. I'm so happy that I can do this for myself. I hope you enjoy the Bali vlog next week. And in the meantime, if you are interested in more content, go to my TikTok, I'll be doing daily vlogs there. I love you guys. Thank you for having my back. I'm gonna be all right. I just had to come here and do this for myself. And yeah, hopefully onwards and upwards for real this week. <laughs> Good night, I'll see you soon.